So I think the problem, the challenge that we face as a country, as a world, but if you look at what's happened and how the security and economic commons got built, really almost everything constructive that happened happened with leadership from the United States. That doesn't mean we got our way and we told it, but we provided ideas, we provided leadership, we provided direction, we provided a certain amount of muscle, and a lot got done. And now we are in this world awash in change. And it's going to stay that way unless people start putting the pieces together. And that's what we have to do. And I try to address this a little bit in the book and say we've got to govern better, we've got to get our economy straightened out. It's a piece of cake to straighten out our economy. It's just waiting to explode. <laughs> we've got to get our energy business. I think we have not been handling the problem of addictive drugs well. Then we have to conduct a strong diplomacy. Personally, I think we better address the problems of nuclear weapons and the threat they pose. And then we have to realize that we've got to get the United States back in a strong position, willing to lead and with the ability to lead. So as we that's think, that's an outline of my book. That's a, yes. Now you've got the outline. Have we failed in our obligations to the next generation? We are failing our future because our K-12 education system is broken in a great many respects. There are plenty of examples of outstanding K-12 through education, including in areas where you have people who are so-called deprived people that work. We know how to do it but we're not doing it. And there are international tests that range us in the US has fallen back. And it's also very clear that the quality of your labor force as measured by things like math achievement or something like that are directly related to economic growth, which has to do with this problem you were talking about. And so I think this is probably, you asked for a domestic problem that we really should be addressing urgently, it's K through 12 education. And I don't see really that we're, well, we're beginning to step up to it. You see much more school choice going on, charter schools are developing, but in all too many cases, the schools are being run for the benefit of the people employed by the schools, rather than for the benefit of the students in them. And we have to change that and really get on the ball on K through 12 education. I think it's our biggest issue.